Our rationale for this study on a prognostic score for CMML patients undergoing stem cell transplantation was basically that main risk stratifications for these patients exist for the non-transplant setting. So for patients who were newly diagnosed. For these patients, we have several risk stratification systems, the CPSS or the molecular enhanced CPSS, the CPSS mole. There is the Mayo um, model and the French model from the GFM um, community. But patients who get transplanted were found to have a diffi difficult risk stratification over the last 10 years. So there were EBMT studies and CIBMTR studies, which identified no significant impact of cytogenetics, for instance, or for specific patient profiles um, with clinical factors. And then what we wanted to address was the combined effect of clinical and molecular genetic information. And that's why we gathered a huge uh, cohort of 240 patients with clinical and molecular information. This is the largest CMML patient cohort in transplant setting with this information to date. And we collaborated with several centers from Germany, from the Netherlands, from France, and even from the US to do this study. And we are very, very grateful for this collaboration. And we then found um, basically three risk factors. One was the comorbidity index at time of transplantation, the BLAST percentage at time of transplantation, and an ASXL1 and or an RAS mutated genotype. And these three factors could, be, could build a CMML transplant score um, ranging up to 20 points. And then we could um, stratify at, at a maximum of five risk groups with um, highest risk and lowest risk. And that was basically the whole rationale to identify patients who, kept, who could benefit from, from transplant, but even patients who might not benefit for transplant and who might be interesting subpopulations for future research in the non-transplant field. That was basically our study. We created a website a tool which could be used freely for everyone to use to facilitate patient counseling. And we look forward to external validation and to continuous use and feedback from the clinics to even further refine or just validate the score.